Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 8 of this cabin. Let's get started. So in this video, we're going to continue working on this. What I'm planning to do is to create the topography. So let's go to level 1 and then click massing and site. Actually, let's go to site. So let, you have to go to site and then click on topo surface. And then here, press escape first, just once. And then let's change this to grass. And then click on the grass, apply, and then OK. And then here, let's place the point. Here, I'm just going to set the elevation to minus 200 so that it's below our um, floor. So here, I'm just going to click on the perimeter right here. So this is the back and this is the front. So for the front, I'm just going to estimate it around this spot. And then here, click around the side. And then after that, we're going to drastic um, change the um, ground by putting in negative 500 first. So it's basically changing the side here. And then here, we're going to put it up later on. And then after that, negative 800 and then after that negative 1500 then negative 1800 on this spot and then negative 2000 let's look at it so we could just click finish and then look at it at here. So as you can see, there's a big drop. And then what we could he do here is we could change this to um, base offset negative. Let's put 500 so that it's under. So as you can see, we have it sloping right here. But the other side we're going to put it up. So we're going to make it bigger like this. And then it's on the and it's on the cliff so we will have uh, um trees all around and then here we will have um, a slope going down. So let's click here and then edit surface and then continue working on this. So I'm going to place a point. We're still going to do negative 2500 right here. And then negative 3000. And then after that, let's do an increase here. So 1000. And then 2000. Three thousand. And then here is fifteen hundred. Three thousand. And then just increase it a bit. 1500, 4500. And then let's look at it in 3D to get the visual of that. So that looks nice. Everything is sloping. If we go to shaded, you probably can see the contour 
of the surrounding uh, what we could do now is increase here so let's go to site again click on the surface and then now let's place more uh, let's do a thousand so that's twice so we can do that and then here let's do 10,000 okay let's finish and look at it again so now it will look like this we could add in a lot of trees at the back and then you know this will be grass so let's go to realistic just to see it so it will be grass and then we're gonna shade it off with uh, some other um um, stones and um, ground and then after that we're gonna create a sub region um, let's do this more so let's um, change it again to shaded or hidden line and then here let's go back to site again edit the surface and then place and here we could do negative 4500 around here and then look at it again so this is around this is good enough and then now what we could do is we could do we could add a sub region so edit surface and then what we could do is select so actually close this create a sub region right here going out like a road so we could just do here uh, change this to a concrete so let's do concrete so let's use concrete like that and then we could just have this one concrete but after that we will have some curve and then we could just offset this to around 4000 so that we don't need to do it something like that and then we just need to connect this and then trim this so slice it first so SL and then 3 TR to trim we could create something like this actually it doesn't look nice so just leave it like that and then just close it right here TR there and then just extend this one and then click finish and then once you see it it will have a different it will change the contour from here actually we need to move it there edit boundary and then here let's just move it in the inside of this 
this one we need to undo this and then lift this back and then we just need to connect this one with a straight line like that And then now just trim and extend. Click finish and double check it. So that looks fine. Hit edit the boundary a little bit just to move it from the inside like that. I'm just going to edit one. One thing here is to go back to the site, edit the surface, and what I pla place here is just negative. Let's put this one to negative 20 only. I'm going to place negative 20 around again. And look at it at 3D. I like the, the look of this around here. And I want to do this on the other side as well so i'm gonna undo that because i place it around here it's supposed to be around here negative 20. maybe around here i believe and click finish there we go. Now it looks better. Kind of hidden the floor there, so that's fine. I like the, the way it looks. And then now what we could do is we could paint this wall at the, at the um, exterior to a different one even the one for the roof because everything inside will be um, wood and i want it to be consistent so you could go to modify click on paint choose something that we haven't used yet i believe the masonry we haven't used so i'm gonna use this one for the roof and then the copper is for the everything outside here. So um, I want to make sure that everything is click. We could see it with consistent color. So that we know that I already click on that. Even on the side right here. To just so that we could be consistent on the color and let's do here as well and that looks very nice and then so that we could just set everything wood on the outside uh inside as well I want uh, a black or a dark, probably a metal at the uh, at outside, and then let's see what we can do on the inside. 
we can also do a wood here as well. So it doesn't matter. I just want it to be changed differently. So after that, so we want to double check first before we go to twin motion. I would like to add something at the top here. So we could just do a quick model in place, generic model. And then here, we're just going to do a sweep. And then we could pick the path, 3D, and just pick the edge here. And then use TR to connect them all together. We want to make sure everything is connected. And then click Finish, Edit Profile, and we should just add in our design right here. It's just a simple um, top for the um, chimney here. And then you want to make sure you click that, click finish, and then press escape. Something's wrong. It's saying that can create sweep here. So let's cancel it and then let's double check. So as you can see, um, we need to pick the path again. We forgot to trim this. Click finish again. Here, we need to edit profile and then make sure to add in a material. Um, we could use copper. I think we haven't used it or actually we use it on the last one. So we just need to click that, change this, and let's use this instead. Click finish, and then finish. And there you go. We could just uh, increase this if we want to by editing. So edit sweep, edit the profile. And then there, we could just increase this probably 100 would be good and then there we go that looks good i'm happy with that so in the next video we're going to send this to twin motion you want to make sure that this is fine um, you can just go to hidden and then uh, just close everything else except for 3D and then save it. So thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.